Alright guys, how's it going? It's the 1st of November, 2019. It's your unofficial Blender News. Story time. So I recorded this whole video, and then I noticed that my audio was slightly quiet. And the reason for this is, one of the small people that I own had turned the microphone round the other direction. So there's a lesson to be learnt here. Don't have children. So let's get straight into the Blender development meeting notes. Blender conference videos are now available online via the Blender Foundation YouTube channel. I mentioned this last week, AMD joined the Blender Foundation Development Fund, and that's a pretty damn big catch if I do say so myself. Blender 2.81, multi-resin sculpting issue, it may not be tackled in time, uh, Serge's proposed that he actually disables the sculpting on a non-top level to avoid artifacts, so he can dedicate his time to fix it in 2.82, fair enough. Moving on to Blender 2.82, Campbell Barton suggests we should move to Python 3.8 and you'll generally find this, especially in the 3D circles, that 2.7 is pretty much near the end of its life cycle so a lot of people are moving over to Python 3. No centralised roadmap yet and the thing people are interested in, new features and changes, not much moving and shaking here. Proposal, tool system, use tapping alt as a leader key to switch tools. Uh, yeah, could be a good thing. Key map, use control F for batch rename, UI, add utility to show icons for key map item, good stuff, WM, add utility to look up a key map, so it's pretty much UI stuff. So some of you may or may not be aware, but it's node vember. Now this isn't specifically orientated towards Blender, Substance, Quixel, any kind of program that uses nodes, but the Blender guys are out in force and they're making lots of nice things, lots of lava. So. Keep an eye out for some nice node setups in Blender. Let's move it straight on to tutorials. Grease Pencil in Blender 2.82. So this is pretty much an introduction video on how to use Grease Pencil in Blender. Check it out if you haven't already. This is from Janum, Blender 2.8, Rigging Tips and Tricks. Now check out my channel as well because I've done a few things regarding rigging in the last couple of weeks. And I like to throw this one in the mixer, Node Editor Tutorial. How to implement draggable list widgets with icons, and this guy deserves way more subscribers than he's actually got, so go and check him out. Remember, all the links in the description down below. And this one's from Gleb Alexandrov, 3D Nebula and the Power of the Blender Community. Check it out, this is from the Blender Conference, pretty damn powerful speech. And of course, lazy tutorials are throwing their hat into the ring, create custom buildings in Blender. I'll not take you any more than a minute to watch. And this one I highly recommend, and it's from Flipped Normals. So you know that the tutorial's going to be Mwah! Using Crypto Mats in Blender 2.82, Compositing Tutorial. Now I highly recommend you do check this one out, and this is more on a serious note. Crypto Mats pretty much going to be the format, it pretty much already is the format to be fair, but you're going to start seeing a lot more adaption over the next year or so between that and USD format, so if you're a compositor or you're compositing, learn CryptoMap. This is from CG Geek, Animated Rain and Splash Effects in Blender 2.8, looks great. Let's move on to add-ons, and I mentioned this one last week as well, a Speed Retopo, or Speed Retopology, if you're me and can't speak, and this is pretty much a 101 Blender video. Now keep in mind, the Blender plugin is free, and this video basically walks you through the basics of it, so that's good to know, cheers to the developer for that. And kinda diverting slightly away from Blender, Armour Paint. Now this is doing the rounds, and I think it's 16 dollars, 16 euros could be. I believe it is open source, and I believe you can actually download it, but you need to compile it yourself for free. So, 16 quid, pretty good deal. And it's kind of, I suppose it's kind of the poor man's version of Substance. So if you can't afford Substance, this might be a good alternative. And just kind of keeping down this line, Material Maker 0 0.6 released. And this is kind of a more a known setup Material Maker. Pretty damn good program and also free. Jump back into Blender add-ons, Blender Market, Camera Plus, 4.99. It's kind of a rigging tool for camera. So if you're lazy and you can't be bothered setting up your camera, probably recommend this plugin, and there's a good chance you've already seen this, introducing Piperator, <laughs> what a name, classic, 
generative pipe modeling for Blender essentially generates pipes on geometry. And I did see a video on Blender Nation last week, or was it this week? Who knows? It's Friday, who cares? But the plugin is free and it's pretty damn good. So I like to do a little bit of internet stalking on Twitter. Finally got it working. This is AFX Lab. This is a guy behind Cloth Effects. He's now doing Mass Effects. And it's essentially scattering objects using rigid body. Now I'd really like to see him push this. I'd like to see more objects than just seven or eight getting thrown in the mixer. I'd like to see how well Blender actually handles it. So check out the guy's Twitter. It's always good to see. And animation of the week. Animation of the week. Default Cube, a Blender short film I just finished. Beautiful animation. Rendering spot on. And I know this sounds a bit trivial. But it's pretty hard to actually animate a box or make it believable, so hats off to you, sir. Awesome animation. So, Artist of the Week goes to Stephen White, and I clocked this in Art Station a few days ago. It's not exactly current, a month old, but the model is absolutely sweet as a nut. This is beautiful. Well done. Congratulations, mates. And that's been the unofficial Blender news. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I mean that, hit that button. Have a great weekend, you know what to do. Peace.